Hi everyone, so in this video, I'll be talking about a college that is considered cheap relative to other colleges in Canada. You know, uh, the price of, you know, the word cheap is actually relative, right? So $10,000 can be considered very expensive in something, whereas $10,000 in that same thing can be considered very cheap in somewhere else. So most of the regular colleges in Canada you can get usually, especially colleges in Ontario, most of the tuition are usually between 16 and 19,000 Canadian dollars. So if you see a college in Ontario and it's between 16 to 19,000, just take it in good faith that, yeah, this is the range, this is what is expected, and this is usually the range. I don't know if they have a union where they kind of regulate their prices to see that it's within those range. Now, if you're thinking about a tuition, let's say between ten and twelve thousand dollars, if you see a college like that in Canada, I would say grab it really fast because that is the cheapest you will find. I've done I've done multiple research, and the cheapest that I've found is usually between ten and twelve thousand dollars. Now, I like New Brunswick Community College. Uh, it's a very fantastic college for international students, but because they've really had a lot of you know probably um too many applications for january uh, for september 2023 january 2024 and may of 2024 they've actually closed their application now for international students so the application portal is going to be open in july for september of 2024 okay so i mean if you plan to come to canada in january of 2024 yeah this video will definitely be of help to you in one way or the other so i found a school a college very good college for international student and the tuition is between 10 and twelve thousand dollars so if you want to know which what exactly this school is and what is the location you know more about this college definitely stick around one thing to do is that this college is a designated learning institution which means that you know of course you can get international student and some of some of things like that and they're also all the most of the program like 95 percent of the program they offer are eligible for post graduation work permit if the program is actually like you know um, one year or more okay of course you've seen that if you study a one-year program you get a one-year work permit if you study a two years program you get a three years work permit so without further ado let's go to my computer and i will talk about this college and then you can definitely check out and see if they have some of the programs that you are interested in let's go so the college that I'm going to be talking about today is NSCC. You might be wondering, what exactly is NSCC? So if you scroll all the way down, you discover that NSCC is actually Nova Scotia Community College. Now, this particular college is located in the province Nova Scotia. So Nova Scotia is in the easterly, is one of the um, Atlantic provinces in Canada. So definitely, you know, it is a good program, especially if you want to get your permanent residency through the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. It is a fantastic program. So let's look at some of the colleges, sorry, let's look at some of the courses they offer, the attrition, the ap application process. No. It's a fairly easy thing to do, so you can click on all programs here to know exactly what are some of the programs that they offer. Now, you can actually search by whether if it is uh, by, by name, you know, um, so you can see that they offer academic and career connection. Uh, they offer some kind of aircraft maintenance technology. They offer some um, architectural engineering technician program. They offer some um, uh, B business, very good business program, business administration. You know, if you want to specialize in accounting or financial services, then business analysis, very good program, right? Uh, they also do some, um, you know, child and youth care, civil engineering technology. That's a very good program. They do uh, um, culinary management, you know, uh, construction management technology it is a fantastic and amazing program and if you're into the health area you can try out the dental assistant program and digital marketing as well and if you're in the health you know you can also check out the disability support and services 
and then early childhood education you know very great program uh, some electrical engineering and a technician and electrical engineering technician very great program then if you want to learn more about finance they offer a very great uh, finance program as well for those in the health sector um they do some human resource management you know um industrial instrumentation it you can see it data analytics it programming id for inter artificial intelligence it web you know programming if you are you know you want to learn more about law and security library you know uh, marine geometrics sorry geomatics uh meta fabrication you know there is also occupational health and safety they are paralegal they have a technician program you know uh, practical nursing is a very good one then uh, they also have journalism you know so you can social service um welding so it's all left for you whatever program you feel is close to you know exactly what you want to do that relates to your experience or your education ex education uh, if your education is recent, you can definitely check out one of them. If you graduated, like, let's say, 10, 15 years ago, then it might be best to check out for a program that matches exactly with what you're doing as a work experience. So if you want to learn about any of this program, what kind of a program is it? You know, is it a one-year program or two years program? You know, what are what, what, they let's say we want to just click on uh, let, let's choose one. Let's say construction management technology. So if we click on this program, it's going to tell you that, you know, they have a start date for September and then they have, a, the program is a two years program and it's a diploma. I've already talked about the fact that diploma is anything anybody can apply straight out of high school, okay? And if you already have, even though you have a master's already, if this is going to help you get better in your job, then definitely go for it. And then if you want to learn more about the overview, you know, you can see a lot about the work experience, you know, why you should choose the program. If you want to learn about the location. So this one here says that it's only available for September of 2023. So if you want to apply for September 2024, definitely check it out. So a lot of other programs are available, of course, for June. I'll take just an example. If you want to learn more about the admission requirements, you know, um, it's going to tell you you need a high school diploma. Um, so basically what it means is that if you're straight out of high school, you can actually apply for this program. What you just need is your high school certificate and your transcript. But if you already have a previous degree, let's say a bachelor's degree, master's, you only need your high school uh, certificate. You don't actually need to start worrying about high school uh, transcript and all of that. And the biggest part of all, this is the attention tuition fee for 2023 2024 for international students 11,690 okay i mean this might be very expensive for a lot of people it may, i mean it depends on your background or where you're coming from but relative to other colleges in canada this is considered affordable and cheap other regular colleges usually between you know 16 and like twenty thousand canadian dollars so if you see anything of eleven thousand six hundred and ninety, then it is considered you know it is considered affordable right but it may not be affordable for you but it is considered affordable relative to others right if you want to learn more about what happens in each year you know and what are some of the careers prospects you know you can work as construction workers and other things you know and then if you want to learn more about the courses, then you can see all of the courses that they offer at different time points. So you can scroll all the way down. This helps you to kind of see, you know, uh, is it really something that I would be interested in? If you want to click on apply, apply, you know, you click on apply now. And then if you want to apply as an international student, there is uh, an application process for international student. Then what are some of the process, you know, select the program, review the general uh, uh, requirement and for the specific program, check some of the documents that they need, right? Check the tuition and the cost, you know, if the, you see there are some scholarships or some bursaries that are available and then pay the application fee and they submit your application. Okay, so if you want to just learn more, um, if you view the application process for international students, then, you know, 
of course september 2023 is already closed right um so if you have a valid study permit you may be considered okay if you, you're already in canada you have a study permit you may be considered so it also tells you how to apply as an international student of course you should be able to do this okay you should be able to read through it and then you see if you plan to stay and work in Canada after graduate ensure that a program of choice you know very important because probably not all the programs are eligible for post-graduation work permits okay? if you go to advanced search for example then you can actually search by you know um what program you know area of interest let's say if you are interested in business you can search by business to just make your search easier if you're interested in an it area it and data analytics you can definitely click on it and data analytics and then just do a search then it's going to tell you all of the programs that are under it and data analytics okay so it just helps you to streamline your choice and then um if you are in the area of uh, let's say business or education let's say we go back to business and do a search uh let's say we are interested in business administration okay you go to business administration so you can see that now they have um september and january start this so which means if you're interested in starting in january this is something definitely for you and it is a uh diploma program right then you can do the same thing and learn more about their eligibility so that it will be easy for you to make your decision okay now you know sorry about it there's been a couple of white white fire in canada so I know it's affecting some students and some faculties as well. So that's why you're kind of seeing, you know, something like this, okay? So these are kind of the ways that, you know, some of the things that we can do to learn about this program. And then, you know, it's good to start um, applying early so that you will be able to get admission because, because it's really cheap. You know, these programs actually get filled up very quickly okay so definitely check out this you know check it out there's actually this business analysis uh, program that is you know now you can see now that this is a one year graduate certificate program in the other i think the only asset the master date so you can definitely check out the semester that you are interested in apply for business intelligence and analytics the only have September study is also a one year graduate certificate program you know um yeah so definitely check it out i'm just gonna kind of, yeah september study majority of them are standard studies so i'll say you know do some search you know and then check specifically if they have a program for january start date okay that is going to help you make a lot of decision if you plan to come to canada in january but if you're planning to come in september you know you can definitely check it out okay you the programs that don't require high school those that require high school and then those that require you know post secondary credential right so these are the ones now that are mostly maybe like a graduate certificate program right for this high school these are mostly diploma program that you know anybody straight up high school can definitely apply and then you know so but what one of the things you want to check is you know make sure um make sure you you check the the credential right if you want to learn more about fees you know you can you can click on any of the programs and then check on the fees right and if you want to check on programs that are opened then you know if you if you scroll down it's going to tell you that or if it is O like this is opened if it's double is wait list and then the program is suspended then they also have different kind of campuses right so uh then you can definitely check the start date and then um if you're interested in any of them definitely you know check it out and apply okay and then um yes yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video definitely should be about it you know take your time 
if you are planning to apply and maybe you are having some kind of difficulties in navigating the application process, definitely reach out to me. There's going to be a link to my website and also to in the video description on my email address. So definitely reach out to me and I will be glad to help you. So once again, if you haven't liked this video, I really don't know what you're doing because I believe this video has been helpful to you. So please hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.